Today we're going to go over some cup sizes on aluminum. Now this isn't to say what's right and what's wrong and this is better than this. What we're going to do is we're going to use our standard 5 and 6 cup at their recommended gas flow and then go above and below that pretty extreme just to show you what that does so you can maybe pinpoint what's going on with your setup. Then we're also going to use a 5 and 6 gas lens and do the exact same thing, compare them side by side. We're going to go up to an 18, so normally you'd use this on stainless steel or titanium at 35 or 40 CFH. We're going to go ahead and run that at its recommended gas flow as well, just to show you what way too much gas flow at a super high flow rate will do for you. All right, so for all five of these cups, we're going to use the same settings, 121 amps, 121 hertz, 35% AC balance, no downslope, minimum end amps, 15 second post flow, half second pre flow, 60 amp start, no upslope. So we're going to be running the pedal, no pulse, and advanced square wave. All right, now that we're all set up with our number five standard cup, we're going to set our gas flow to 10 to 12 CFH, which is typically what's recommended for a standard, standard five. All right, number five cup, 10 CFH. See, arc's nice and stable. Um, this is what you should run a number five cup at, and this is exactly why a nice stable arc. Uh, as we pull back, the etching's super minimal. Arc's nice and stable. This is where we should be. Coming back to the, the bottle, we're gonna go ahead and go up to 25 CFH on this number five standard cup. Standard five cup, 25 CFH, so we're about two and a half times what's recommended, and then right off the start, you can see why. It's a really erratic start. The arc was all over the place. Um, other than that, it runs about the same. I mean, the arc doesn't seem to be super unstable while you're running, just that start was real bad. As we pull back, you'll see that there was a little bit more etching uh, on both sides of the weld. It's still runnable, but you can tell it's not quite dialed in right. You're really wasting a lot of gas at this point. Um, I mean, you're, getting, you're gonna get half the time out of your bottle is what you should. We're gonna go down to five CFH. This is gonna be a pretty good estimate. Uh, the lowest my regulator shows is 10 CFH, so we're gonna split the difference here. Let's get back on the plate. So you see here already, like, the start is kinda dirty. Uh, it's, it actually acts like it's a little bit sluggish. I don't know why that would be gas flow, but it, it's acting a little sluggish. You can kinda see in the, the arc shop, the material looks kinda gloopy, like it's sticking to the filler rod as I'm dipping in. It actually now, is, it, it kinda runs like it's too hot, even though it's not. Like the oxide layer is not really getting pushed away with the gas flow, it's kinda sitting on top still. So we're not getting any etching, but this you can tell it's a really dirty run. It doesn't look good. So this is, why, this is what too low of a gas flow on a cup will do for you. So here we have our three runs with our standard five cup. This middle run here was our recommended setting of 10 to 12 CFH. And you can see, you know, pretty average etching. And as I was saying earlier, I think I had a little bit of airflow issue from the start. So I'd kind of disregard that dirty start. And then up here is our 25 CFH. You can see here in the start, it was super erratic. Had a little bit more etching compared to the, the recommended setting. And then down here was our 5 CFH. You can see a really dirty start. You can actually see right here on the toe of the weld, it's pretty nasty and grainy. And then the whole weld itself is just real peppery. So now we're switching over to a number 5 gas lens. Uh, we're going to do the same exact gas setting, same machine settings. So we're going to start at our recommended gas flow at 10 to 12 CFH. It's a pretty decent little start. Gas lens 5. We're running back at our recommended 10 to 12 CFH. Uh, arcs nice and smooth. Getting a little bit smoother gas flow, I think, with a gas lens. Um, as we go along, we're maybe getting a tiny bit more etching than we did with the standard cup. Uh, running about the same, though. And like I said, this is your, your recommended setting, so it should run just about perfect. Back at the regulator, we're going to go ahead and go up to 25 CFH for this number five gas lens. You can see right off the start is a little more erratic. We get moving and you can see it's kind of the same with the standard cup. We're getting quite a bit more etching than we were at a recommended setting. Uh, we're quite a bit wider on this. Uh, for me, it'd be the left side of the weld. Quite a bit more etching than with our uh, 10 to 12 CFH. Other than that though, it's still a nice clean weld. Like I said, it's 
this is a good weld. It's just you're wasting a lot of gas. It's just showing that you don't need to use a super high amount of gas to get a decent weld. All right, so now that we've done our recommended 10 to 12, our 25 CFH, we're gonna go back down to five CFH with this number five gas lens. Starts nasty and dirty, and it doesn't get any better from there. It actually gets quite a bit worse. You can see the filler rods kind of stick into the, uh, the base material as I push it in. The base material is kind of pulling off on the filler rod. It's super dirty. Uh, the oxide layer, it's almost like we're not running any clean. That's it. what it looks like. It's, uh, it's so dirty. So again, this is why this is too low of a gas flow setting and why the, the uh, 10 to 12 is recommended. All right, so here we're looking at our three runs with our number five gas lens. Once again, here's our recommended setting at a 10 to 12 CFH. Nice clean start, clean bead, minimal etching. I might have my torch angle off just a tiny bit, leaned towards this side. Got real minimum etching here. A little bit of heavy etching on this side, but pretty good overall. You can see here as we went up in gas flow, a little more erratic start, kind of like we saw with the standard cup. And as a standard cup as well, we had you know, a little extra etching on the sides of the weld there. So the gas lens wasn't as sensitive going up, but as we come down in gas flow, this is where it gets really nasty. You see it was a bad start. The material itself just really wasn't burning in. It actually burned like it was, I was running way too high amperage with no cleaning. So the, uh, the gas flow here really made a huge difference. See, it's a dirty weld. It's sunken in, it's real flat. On the back side, it, it, it's super bumpy and pokes through. So again, too low gas flow compared to our proper setting, it's pretty obvious uh, where you need to be at. So if you're seeing this, running a gas lens on aluminum, you probably need to bump your gas flow up a little bit. All right, so here we have our six runs between our number five standard cup and our number five gas lens cup on aluminum. Here we have our standard five cup and our gas lens five cup. Both of these are at our recommended 10 to 12 CFH, our 25 CFH, and our five CFH. So starting with the standard cup, you can see going up, we had a really erratic start. We had a little more etching. And then coming down to five, going too low, we had a really dirty start and a dirty overall bead. Whereas the standard cup seemed to be more sensitive going up, it wasn't as sensitive going down. We come over to our gas lens, at 25 CFH, we had a more erratic start. We had more etching, which we kind of expected. But overall, the weld looks pretty much exactly the same. So the gas lens isn't as sensitive going up, but it is way more sensitive coming back down. So down here at 5 CFH, see a really dirty start, and then a really grainy, peppery weld that's super dirty. It's really hot, really flat, just a really bad overall weld. So now, now that we've ran kind of a standard cup, uh, or a standard size cup, I should say, a five. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw on a big monster cup. We're gonna throw on a gas lens 18, and we're gonna run typically like the, the gas flow setting for this would be about 30 to 36 CFH. So we're gonna run it at 36 CFH, go up to 50, and I think we'll go down, we'll go down to 15 on this one and see what it does. Now, I've never ran a cup this large on aluminum before. I think the biggest I've ran is a 12. Um, and we just thought this would be a really good video for people that are starting out, like that bigger isn't always better, even if you have the right gas flow. So here we go, we start up. Super nasty start already, which isn't actually what I was expecting. I thought this might run a little bit decent. We go along, I get a couple good dabs, and then it seems like I lose gas flow. And then here again, we get a couple good clean dabs. I thought maybe it was gonna clean up, and then it kinda, kinda goes erratic again, like I lost gas flow. So, I mean, it definitely ran better than, uh, than it could have, but uh, yeah, this was not what I was expecting. We're gonna go ahead and jump up to 60. I just wanna see if maybe a, a super high gas flow in this big cup will help it clean up. I would never use this. It's wasting a lot of gas, but just for the sake of trying it out, let's go up to 60 and have another shot. Son of a bitch. It's, this is surprising. I thought the start was gonna be super erratic. <laughs> kind of surprised. Obviously, that's a, that's a lot of gas. It's almost six times the gas as we were running with our, our number five cups, but this worked.
It worked perfect. That's the best weld I ran. That's hilarious. <laughs> as soon as I light up, this is what welding aluminum with no gas is like. We might as well just turn the gas completely off. Um, I can't even I can't even get filler rod in. I'm basically just doing this to take up time at <laughs> at this point. But uh, as we when we pull off, we're going to see a pretty pretty unique picture uh, between these three welds. So we'll go ahead and wrap this one up, and let's go to an overview of everything. All right, so here we have our gas lens 18 runs. You can see this is our our recommended kind of setting. You know, typically you do double the cup size. This is like 36 to 40 CFH. This actually didn't run as good as I thought it would, being that we were right within the range that you should run that cup at. But we had a really erratic start, kind of dirty. I got a couple good dips in and then kind of lost gas flow. Another couple good dips and then we lost gas flow. So this was a, a learning experience for me. Again, this, was the, this is the biggest cup I've ever ran on aluminum. Previous to this, I think maybe a 12 was my biggest. So we jump up from our kind of recommended sitting, setting at double the gas flow. Uh, to the cup size up to 60 CFH. Now I actually expected this to be super erratic and the arc to be really unstable, like basically having the gas flow blow the arc around, but you can see we actually got a better start. We maybe ran the cleanest bead uh, of the day and our etching really wasn't that wide. I thought the etching would be super wide, but uh, especially being that 18, but this was a really nice run. An expensive run as you're running six times the gas flow of a number five cup, but it actually looks good. This is a, a big learning moment for me. As we jump down here, you can see this is basically welding aluminum without gas. And this was that number 18 cup at 15 CFH. I didn't even want to go any lower than that uh, when we first started to shoot this, but yeah, 15 CFH, you might as well not have gas. I mean, there's nothing to even really say about how bad this is. It kind of speaks for itself. All right, so here's the, the back side of those nine runs we did with the standard five, gas lens five, and the gas lens 18. You can kind of see in our reduced gas flows here, kind of the same results. We had a higher heat input, and as we went up, similar results, the lower heat input. I think this is a little bit of a fluke. I might have came off the pedal a little bit because you can see between even the gas lens 18 and the standard five at a high, what we consider an abnormally high gas flow, we had kind of the same, same heat input. They almost look real, you know, the same. Whereas with our recommended flows, they look almost identical on this backside. So it's just something to consider too. If you are running too high of a gas flow, you are going to be reducing your heat input. And as you go down, you can get a little more heat input, but also be careful of how that front side looked at your reduced gas flows. My takeaway from this and what I learned is that your cup size isn't as important to your bead profile and your etching as gas flow. So really getting dialed in on your gas flow, no matter what cup you're running, a standard, you know, a standard five, a standard eight, a gas lens five, a gas lens eight, or even a gas lens 18 at 60 CFH, dialing in your gas flow per your cup makes a bigger difference on your bead profile and bead appearance than actual cup size. So, if you guys have any questions, you're running into problems with whatever cup, please feel free, to, feel free to reach out to me. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. Just shoot me a message. I'm more than happy to help anybody out. I'm Jesse McCollum, brand ambassador for Everlast Welders. Remember, weld mean, weld green.